Well, ever since I started when I uh, took a trip to Sri Lanka to visit uh, my partner, when I left, um, I left with a sense of sadness for the situation of the street dogs in Sri Lanka. So when we moved to Nila Valley, we saw the situation was actually worse than any other part. There were no population management, no sterilization programs. The only vet here is focused on livestock animals. Sometimes they help us with sterilization, with uh, vaccination, but it's not always available. Travel actually all over Sri Lanka from north, south, east, west. In the west and the south, there's so many stray dogs, as you can imagine. But there's also lots of help from animal organizations. But in the north and east, there's there's nothing. There's just zero help. That's why we started. I'm actually very happy to see the dogs just roaming around and a free space for them. And the communities, 99% they're okay with it. But the problem is it just controlling their population. So the most important thing that, that we would need uh, in the north and the east of the Sri Lanka is population control, which is sterilization. When I first came to Sri Lanka, uh, like a lot of people, I was overwhelmed with seeing all of the stray dogs on the streets and on the beaches. And I was uh, quite sad thinking that there's nobody that's caring for them. So, you know, coming here and seeing people that are doing so much to take care of the dogs is a great feeling. In Nilaveli, there's just very few businesses, uh, a lot uh, fewer international tourists, a lot fewer companies, a lot fewer, a lot less wealth here that can be uh, uh, directed towards uh, taking care of the stray dogs. So what's being done by, by Mbetta and Chris is very unique. It's not been done here at this time. And they are frankly overwhelmed with the amount of dogs that have to be taken care of. Every single day they're feeding dogs down the beach. Uh, they're taking dogs to the vets. So they're simply not the entire ecology, economically, medically, or even an awareness of taking care of stray dogs in this part of Sri Lanka. And that's what they are bringing here. First by doing ad hoc care, and then now developing an actual infrastructure for taking care of them. Um, uh, hi everybody, I'm new here, but I'm sitting across from somebody who has been taking care of the beach dogs for a really long time. It turns out that in other parts of Sri Lanka, there are organizations that help take care of these stray dogs. But here there is nobody, and there's really no future, and they just breed and run wild and it's a huge problem. Why money is needed to get this organization off the ground? The answer to the overpopulation, you have them sterilized so the colony dies out. And that is the goal here. The goal is not to have every inch of the beaches covered with stray dogs. Sterilization is most important, most important, because it's non-stop. We, we keep finding puppies every couple of weeks or every, at least once a month there are new puppies. So all those mothers have to be sterilized. We have to wait for the puppies to grow up. There are organizations, but nothing in the East. I don't think even in the North. 
or even northwest for that matter you know it's mostly concentrated in the south and in colombo i mean we are not trying to have a ongoing program forever it's just that we're trying to stop this now and the only way to stop it or curtail it is to get the sterilizations done and until it is curtailed it is it's not possible for us to let the dogs just starve and die, you know. <laughs> we are trying to raise money to start an organization. What Betta and Chris are doing is building permanent infrastructure here. That will do what it's doing in all the other parts of Sri Lanka. There's no tourism here now because of coronavirus. All the rest is love and it's easy to give love and that's what I'm asking. Imagine what it's like when you give this love and then it's gone the next day and the animals starve. And imagine what it would be like if you gave something that would help that love. It doesn't cost that much if everybody gives a little bit. I'm just asking people to open their hearts just as they open their heart to pick up a dog and hold it. Maybe they can open it so that these dogs can truly be taken care of. With the COVID-19 situation, things went down. We keep going with our work. We decided not to stop. Now the money is really running out and we really need your help. They really need financial support from you and your friends and anybody else you can reach. Thank you.